Marriage is a blending of hearts. It's a union of two lives as one. And your marriage stands not by the authority of the state or by the power of your wedding certificate, but your marriage stands by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in one another. Your lives, which began on separate paths, now come together as one. And by making your commitment today, you will become stronger, better, and deeper, not only individually, but together as a couple. There's three encouragements that I'd like to give you. First, every day be grateful for the good fortune that you have of spending your lives together. Second of all, live each day as if it's your last day. I don't know what it is, but it seems like when times get tough, we forget and we stop encouraging one another. And what I want to do is encourage you to, uh, in those times, make every moment count. Be tender with your words, be loving with your thoughts, and loving with your actions, because even in the most difficult times, you can make your marriage a very safe place for each other. The last thing is make love and respect the very core of your marriage. Um, It's important that we love each other just the way that we are and that we respect one another just the way that we are. And when you have love and respect at the core of your marriage, then your marriage will be a great place, not only for you, but also for the friends and for the family that are drawn into your relationship. My hope for you is this, that you have many long years to enjoy each other's company. My hope for you is that you're grateful for the good fortune that you've had of finding one another, but even more importantly, the good fortune that you have of loving each other. My hope for you is that you'll make a home together that is at once sheltering and welcoming. And my hope for you is that you will love and be loved not only by each other, but by all of the family that could have been here today, all of your friends uh, that are back home that want to encourage you and celebrate your relationship with you. So with these things in mind, Roland, if you'll take Michelle's flowers and put it down in front of you. Perfect. And if you'll face each other and hold hands, and if you'll repeat after me, and Roland, we're gonna have you go first. I, Roland, take you, Michelle, I, Roland, take you, Michelle. To, be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold. from this day forward, from this day forward. For, better or for, worse. for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer. In, sickness and in, health. in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Until, death do us part. until death do us apart. And Michelle? I, Michelle, take you, Roland. I, Michelle, take you, Roland. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. You've chosen to uh, share rings to seal these vows today. And so if you'll get the rings out and hold each other's rings. And if you'll take a moment and look at the rings, you'll notice a couple things about them. Is even though these rings are small in size, they're very large in significance. And the first thing I want you to notice is that they're in a perfect circle, which means they have no ending to it. And so these rings are a great reminder that your love for one another never ends. Second of all, you notice that these rings are very precious, not just because they're made out of a precious metal or stones, but because they represent the dreams and the, and the memories that you've had so far, the memories that you're making today, and the dreams and the memories that you're going to be making in, in, in the future. So whether you're together or apart, you know, uh, at those times when you sit down and you touch the ring on your finger, My hope for you is that you be reminded that your love for one another never ends and that your love for each other is very precious. So, Roland, if you'll take Michelle's ring and put it on her ring finger, and if you'll hold it there once you get it on and repeat after me, I give you this ring ring as a sign that I choose you you to be my lover, lover, my partner, and my best friend. 
wear it and think of me and know that I love you. Michelle, if you'll take Roland's ring and put it on his ring finger, and once you get it on there, repeat after me. I give you this ring, I give you this ring. As, a as a sign that I choose you to be my lover, to be my, lover my partner and my best friend. Wear it and think of me and know that I love you. And now, because you've declared your love for one another by sharing vows and exchanging rings by the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Roland, you get to kiss your new wife. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That's terrific.